river restriction like that and the structure extending to some extent above the popular diaphragm but a relatively long short segment striction. You have mostly achalasia of the cardia and the same other differential diagnosis is cancer of esophagus and the other investigation needed is uh, upper GI endoscopy. The same dilatation and tortuosity of the esophagus with tapering restriction just at the level of the copula of the diaphragm, meaning achalasia of the cardia. What about this? part of the X-ray. This barium swallow extending to the stomach, giving stomach shadow filled with barium meal. Uh, there is no specific pathological findings in this esophagus, and this is all. This is a greater curvature, and what about this? It is a prostatic movement, another the static movement. This two constrictions on opposite sides, this and that, is normal finding. If we find that there is crater or notch or niche here, it means uh, uh, ulcer. But if you find two constrictions on both sides like that, it is usually a uh, normal constriction. And this is the uh, bionic antra, bionic canal, bionic sphincter, and the divina cap. The divina cap not felt completely, but I think it is regular and triangular normal. Another achalasia of the cardia. All these x rays are important. Another achalasia of the cardia. Another achalasia of the cardia. Barium swallow showing the esophagus with number one in X-ray finding, fluid level. Fluid level means obstruction, I come on. Fluid level means, fluid level means obstruction. If you find fluid level in the esophagus, it's equal that there is obstruction. With fluid barium level and shouldering and regular stricture, shouldering and regular stricture, at the middle of the esophagus. This is the esophagus, this is the esophagus, and this is the upper third, and this is the middle third, and this is the lower third. This is the middle cancer esophagus. A regular stricture at the middle of the esophagus with shouldering. A regular stricture with shouldering. It means cancer middle third esophagus. <coughs> Another Cancer middle cell, but with invisible esophagus at the lower part, with mild dilatation of the upper part of the esophagus, which is real. This is not sure, this is not sure that it is cancer, except after other investigation needed, upper GI, endoscopy, and biopsy. What about the X ray finding saying that it may be cancer esophagus? Number one, there is shouldering and there is complete occlusion of the esophagus for long, long segment. Complete occlusion for long segment. Number three, shouldering on both sides, irregularity and complete occlusion for long segment extending to the upper third of the esophagus, denoting that it may be cancer esophagus. Other investigation needed, uh, biopsy, upper GI endoscopy and biopsy. But what about the uh, possible differential diagnosis? In working time, differential diagnosis, my long segment of fusion like that, or regularity at the lower end, corrosive restriction. Corrosive restriction may give finding like that, but history can diagnose it. History, only history can diagnose. Another X-ray finding, barium swallow, starting from the upper end of the esophagus to the middle cell, from the upper third to the middle cell. Cancer middle cell, a regular restriction with multiple shouldering or multiple irregularity at both sides, 
The lower third is normal surface. This is the normal surface. This is shoulder and another shoulder. This irregularity and relatively long segment means it is not a calyze or not uh, spaz, it is cancer surface. Other investigation needed, as we said before, uh, our GI is not to be angry. Another barium swallow denoting shouldering with absence of the lower part of the esophagus and uh, possibility of cancer uh, middle surface esophagus. Another shouldering, the regularity, cancer middle surface esophagus. Another cancer middle surface esophagus. Cancer middle surface esophagus with shouldering and erosion of the wall and mass bulging from the uh, left side or the right side of the uh, Okay. Yeah, as well, the esophagus well, terrible, may have may have begun to have a philosophy. We have a big philosophical yeah, cancer, relevant, yeah, I can use yeah. Now show the barrier uh, swallow or barrier mean, barrier swallow, barrier mean. Uh, it may be cancer esophagus or achalasia, and rarely it is hiatus here. In, in, in exception, I want to la la la, la la la, we have normal esophagus or damage, double on the stomach, the chest. If a tarkir, shaki, and esophagus will bury him, swallow, I have a roof in x-ray. It is the language, the X-ray language, and they have many letters. You, you have to know each letter, and you have to read it perfectly. If you find this picture, it means barium swallow. And if you find this tumoring like that, it means that and so. Okay? Uh, if you find barium swallow, it may be cancer or achalasia of the cancer. If you find that the esophagus is normal, the so normal esophagus is of this, of this diameter and maybe interrupted like that. This is a normal esophagus. Okay? If you find normal esophagus and you find the barium in the chest like that, it is usually diaphragmatic curve. Okay. Next is Thomas. Why? Why tracing the stomach wall? You have to trace first the there. Greater curvature. This is normal. This is the gast normal gastric and at the front. The fundus having air bubble like that, without flavor jibbing. All these findings are normal. The list of curvature also looking normal. This part is obviously spasm or prostatum on the opposite side with the normal. This is the bioloric antrum normal, bioloric canal, bioloric canal, bioloric sphincter, and this part should be the duodenal cap. The duodenal cap here, okay, is not triangular as we saw in the last uh, X-ray. It's not triangular, but it, it is trifoliate. This typical trifoliate deformity is a good sign for diagnosis of duodenal cap. Other investigation needed is the previous X-ray, and in this X-ray also the deformity in inner cap, normal ureter curvature, normal lesser curvature, and deformity in inner cap. The distance between the lesser curvature and the vertebral colon, the distance between is within normal. Within normal. In the normal X-ray, it may be five, three to seven centimeters. Three to seven centimeters. If it is more, it means that there is something pushing the stomach away from the vertebral cord. That may be uh, point to diagnosis of pancreatic pseudocyst. And we will 
I think it, it, we, we have some of these bankers to system this X-ray presentation. Uh, this is the form of the dinner cap. And if you ask about the uh, other investigation needed, also our GI endoscopy uh, and the gastric function tests and all investigations for the renal ulceration. Okay? If you ask it about the specific lines of treatment, you have to note that broad lines. And, 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 and the answers for the X-ray questions will be in very short paragraphs. The time allowed for each question is two minutes. Two minutes, you have to diagnose it and second look for sure diagnosis and answering two or three questions uh, in two minutes. This is very good time. But you can't answer treatment in details. You have to say that it, it may be either gastrectomy, subtotal gastrectomy, or vagotomy and drainage operation, or so on. Okay? What about this barium <laughs> meal? And this barium meal, as you see, that the stomach reaching the pelvis. Uh, the pelvis is not found here, but here the stomach reaching the pelvis. The other cell, the previous cell, the stomach reaching to this level. So the iliac crest was not found in the X-ray. Yes? But here, the X-ray reaching the area to the slip. So it is widely, very hugely dilated stomach. The stomach starting from this point. All this part is the gastric air. This is the air in the stomach. And this is about bilorus, bilorus canal, bilorus uh, antrum, bilorus canal, bilorus sphincter, and the inner cap is not present at all. It is completely lost in the inner cap by loic obstruction. It is benign or malignant. It is maybe an equation. Benign or malignant. Why? At all it is benign due to wide dilatation of the stomach denoting long duration. Wide dilatation of the stomach denoting long duration. That again is in malignant. Malignancy, we have an ashantos of the stomach death, either teratin or bacinin, dilatation. But actually also the complete obstruction of the shakli death with benign lesion, either way to the foot. The relevant data over malignant or complete obstruction because for a very short time the stomach was dilated. This X-ray, this barium meal showing the stomach and gastric rouget with barium heavy, barium heavy due to irritation at this area. There is something irritating the motility of the stomach and evacuating the barium, jumping this area. Only rouget can be detected, but the, yes, this part, there is sclerosis, there is some sort of spasm, there is something preventing the barrier from being at this part. And there is ring of barrier surrounding the halo of translucence. Ring of barrier surrounding the halo of translucency. If you ask it about X-ray finding, you can say that there is absence of barium at the middle third of the stomach or the pyloric antrum and there is ring of barium surrounding halo of translucency denoting carmine meniscus sign carmine meniscus sign or cancer 
uh, 